The state news went around campus to ask students about how they felt about D'Antonio's resignation as the head football coach at MSU and also what they think the future holds for MSU football. I, I didn't really think he needed to go. Uh, I know everyone was kind of clamoring for his resignation, but, you know, I think he he had a rough go of it after Narduzzi left and he was really struggling to get assistance in the right place. And this year he was talking about, like, he understands now he really needs to, like, make some changes, whereas before he was just trying to stay loyal to his guys. So I just, I feel like really next year could have been better. Like, he's our winningest coach ever. So I don't know. I, I would have stuck with him a little longer, but, I mean, I've been a fan since I was a kid, and like Antonio has always been that guy, so maybe I'm a little biased. Um, it's just a sad day. Uh, just you know, just the fact that he served as coach for Michigan State football. You know, it's just you know, it's just, yeah, one of those sad things. But obviously, you know, we've got to move forward, and um, hopefully, the new person will appoint Michigan State football in the right direction. Um, as the head coach, I was just legit reading an article about it in the uh, when I was just sitting in the car, and they said that he, um, I heard something about an NC, NCAA um, violation after like him uh, working here for 13, uh, 13 seasons. Um, I just thought it was very um, interesting. Uh, you know, I, I didn't get to read much about it, but you know, I just feel like it's a, it's a lot of sideways stuff going on in sports. I feel like it's a lot of sideways stuff going, and when I say sideways, I mean like crooked, um, crooked activity, and. Um, I don't know. I feel like, you know, these things just start to come out after um, he starts to retire. So. Um, I'm definitely sad about it. Uh, I thought he had a little more time left, but I read his statement and I definitely understand uh, that it's really time consuming and he's probably moving on to spend more time with his family. I don't know. I mean, I look at LSU and in two years, Ed Orgeron turned that whole program around. Like, they essentially were where MSU is. Like, I mean, they didn't have as bad of a season, but it was the same type of team, like heavily defensive and run-heavy offense. And then Orgeron comes in and gives them the spread offense and brings in some better coordinators on offense. And then they go 15-0 and make history in like every category, be more top 10 teams than ever before. I don't know, I think that if we get a guy like Ojeron that's willing to make changes, take risks, I think that, you know, the future's bright. Um, a national title, so, uh, I mean, maybe a little too optimistic, but that's that's hopefully the game plan for this new, new staff, new coaching staff, I hope, so. Um. Hopefully we get a coach that, you know, can have us winning all the games. But, uh, you know, football is football. But um, hopefully we – hopefully I see it getting, like, more positive, um, you know, more wins. That's always what I hope for. So um, just, you know, someone that makes our team uh, continue to win. Well, hopefully something positive. Um, I don't really know what direction we're headed, but uh, can't really get much worse, I hate to say it, but uh, – it's trending upwards, I hope so.